Hey there, what's up everyone? My name is Terrifiger and welcome back to another tutorial video, this one on Hello Neighbor. So the last Hello Neighbor tutorial video that I did was how to escape to Act 2 in two different ways, because there's apparently three ways in Act 2 to to get past it. I do found one of the ways, but there's but I showed how to do the other two ways. This next tutorial video is takes place in Act 3, and I just started a new game in here, so I don't have any of the superpowers like the double jump or the super launch or the, the extra chance, like if the, mur uh, the murderer, if the neighbor catches me, then I can like push him away and fight him off. But you don't need any of those abilities to do this uh, thing. Okay, so, this, so there's a specific thing in this game, I can't dash. That's a cage that's up above on on the upper level. It's a mysterious cage, and as far as I know, nobody knows how to get past it. Or at the very least, I've never seen any any videos, any Hello Neighbor videos, showing anybody getting past it. So in this, vi but in, I figured out how to do it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. So I, I'm sure you probably don't know which uh, what what I'm talking about, but you gotta you gotta hit that um. Apple painting to make this open, first of all, because you need it in order to access the area. When you go up, there's going to be all of these rooms. These ones are all boarded up. You don't need these. You don't need this one. You got to go up until you reach this, the one that says no guns. But when you go through here, you make it to the wiring that leads to here. And of course, for there, you need to grab a shoe and then glitch throw it into here to flip the lever and then open that up. But there's this cage. And as far as I know, Nobody knows how to get past this thing. Or, again, at the very least, I haven't seen any Hello Neighbor videos where anybody's ever gotten past it. And that's because the way to get past it is pretty tricky. Well, you, well, the thing is, is that there's there's little items on little wooden discs right here and here. They can't, You can't pick them up. You can pick up items beside them. You can't pick up these items. No matter how hard you try it, I'm just going to flip that. Uh, you okay there? There we go. What you gotta do is that you see these things here. If you take something and throw it at an item on there, I said if you throw it at an item, there. See, it turns green. It glows green, but it only stays like like that for a short bit. It just goes off. And there's six items on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you gotta make all of them turn green. And once all of them, and once you get all of them to turn green before any of them go out, then this opens up. But I've tried doing it, just like throwing them one at a time, and that doesn't work. They turn off before you, I'd finished hitting them all. So, because because if I like take this and that, and I'm and I'm just going like uh, and a one and a two, oops, and a three, and like trying to do the, them all in time, these these eventually just like turn off, the like right before I finish it. So what you need is something that rebounds, that that like bounces around once you hit them. Something that can like that 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 can bounce and then zip to the next one. And that is where this crate of basketballs comes in. This is why they're here. So you gotta pick up four of them, fill your inventory with them, and you gotta hit them at an angle. So you gotta go like this. Okay, that didn't quite work out, but this. There you go. See, two at once. And then one, two, okay, that was kind of a bad attempt because, yeah, now these are going to turn off. But what you got, but you see what I mean. You got to hit all of them and, and make sure they reverberate and bounce off each other like that. So this one I think is the hardest one to get. So, yeah, this one's the hardest one to get. So I think you actually have to do it from this angle. And, okay. Frick! Oh yeah, and if you hit it again, then they turn off. So be careful. <laughs> and if and if it goes like the, and if it, and if you only get one to go green and then it bounces away, I highly suggest waiting until it turns off before trying it again, so that you can do that. That's not gonna work. So I know the angle for that one. Now I'm going to learn the angle for hitting this one. Nope, that's not the angle. That's not the correct angle. Neighbor, why? What is the? What is the purpose? Okay, come on, can I? Yes! There, stay locked, buddy. We're gonna try to... Oh, he's just... Oh, okay. I hear him, he's just doing calisthenics. Good. There's one. There's two. There's three, and there's four. There we go. See, I, I did all of them just like... These two were done one at a time, one at... 
or like I was able to hit one and one with both killing two birds with one stone and then these ones I knew I'd have trouble so I just did one at a time and open the thing goes. And then once that's open you can remove the chair and open the door. And then when you press this button, whoop, the cage gets lifted and this one gets closed again. Don't know why that one got closed again but it did. Is it a like, case of, oh, oh right, I remember. Pressing that button lifts up that cage on the back, but pressing that button also closes this cage, so then you gotta reopen them again. Habusk and Habusk. There we go. Oh, and then that, th okay. This was actually something I never even knew. It's either one or the other. Y you flip all of those, and then this one opens, but this one good then closes. And then if you press the button, then this one opens, and then this one closes, and it just alternates. But I do know that it's all that, that these things are also tied to this big gramophone thing. So what if I free? Oh! Well, who knew, right? Who knew that was actually a thing? Who knew that was actually a thing? That you could actually trick the neighbor like that. And that also flipping all of these things would actually open this up. These were things I didn't actually know. I knew that it could open this, but that was the last time I tried it. But now when I tried it, I didn't know that cages also came down and just blocked me. And I'm like trapped now. So if I were to undo this, open this up. Hey, buddy. So if I were to do this, and he's trying to get me. But if I press the button, ha 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 ha. Oh, he's coming this way now. Well, okay. I don't know what happened there, but but yeah. So, so there you go, that's how you do it, and you, and you can try it out for yourself. Link to the game itself is in the description below if you want to give it a shot. Oh, you dropped his flashlight, or is that my flashlight? That's my flashlight. And thank you everybody so much. Oh, I just realized, encoding overloaded, I didn't even realize. If the, game, if the video was becoming laggy since then, then I'm sorry. But thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Let me know that down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everybody.